Amen. God bless you. Good evening. Um, this is from Reverend here, from He Who Saves My Life, Saves World's Ministries, Fresno, California, home of the world famous Grizzlies. <clears throat> I'm in Grizzly country, and I want to first say this. Give me, give me Fresno any day. Give me Fresno in spring. Give me Fresno in autumn. Give me Fresno in, amen, in winter. Give me Fresno in the summer. <laughs> amen. It's beautiful here, man. I'm in Grizzly country. This is the Reverend um, Rudy Henry for He Who Saves One Life Saves the Rules Ministries. I got my colors on. Go Grizzlies. <laughs> Jesus loves you. You know, I want to say something. God has laid this on my heart, though, but I've actually preached to Fulton Mall down there. At beautiful. I've been down there in a, in a, in actually in spring. Oh, it's so glorious. Preaching the gospel down there with Gr Chachansi Stadium. Oh man, I was down there preaching and man, I go around walking. This is grizzly country. Amen. I'm a grizzly for life. You know, I want to say something. I want to thank the apostle Bob Larson. God has laid it on my heart. I love you. God bless you, Reverend Bob. Larson, um, I was with you then. I'm with you now. I actually grew up listening to you. I, I liked him when he he was on TBN. He used to do talk by uh, talk back Bob when people would call all over in the world in the studio there. Man, that was absolutely glorious. And he would witness to these people, and all kinds of people would call in, and he would tell them about Jesus, and sometimes cast the devil out of them. And God bless you, Reverend Bob Larson. I believe you're actually an apostle, uh, Reverend. Yeah, he's actually an apostle, and God bless you. I was with you then, and I'm with you now. I actually grew up hearing Bob Larson under that anointing, and I actually went out and preached. You know, I preached deliverance, and I've been doing this for 26 years. And he's one of the men of God that have inspired me, and I've been hearing him and giving to him for years. So God bless you, Reverend Bob. Larson. You are a true man of God. Yeah. Boy, the devil hates you, but God loves you. <laughs> Amen. Jesus loves. I remember when he had Boyd Rice, and um, he did the he did the uh, interview with the people from Church of Satan. I watched that a thousand times. And Death Metal, Necromancer, and I remember Necromancer. Remember when he shot, he broke the curse off him? Man, that was amazing. And then um, some other ones there, man. I think he slow. He didn't you tour with Slayer? Oh, Lord Jesus. Of course, I came out of the rock scene, and, you know, I was on the dark side, so that fed my spirit. I'm still fed. I like the Halloween one when he was uh, ministering from the studio. Absolutely glorious. Woo, hallelujah. God bless you, Reverend Bob. You're a man of God. I want to invite people, if you don't know who Reverend Bob is, turn him on. Get his, um, sow it. You would not be disappointed. Maybe you got the devil in you. You get the devil out of you. Set up an appointment with him. Get his books. Um, he's got uh, a, a how to break curses. Uh, j I mean, just you'll be blessed. You can sign up for his um, school of exorcism, and I mean, you'll be blessed, divine. God bless you, Reverend Jesus Christ. Slumps you, and he has done a great. Many of people are free today because um, God raised up that man of God. I'm still with you. I'm always going. You know, I love them, Reverend, but I still listen to him today. <laughs> Well, I still remember, I, I, love, I used to love, because I was a young man preaching, and there wasn't any of that back then. Now everybody, everybody wants to do what Reverend Bob Larson is doing. <laughs> I was preaching that as a young man, devils coming out, and, you know, people coming out of the occult, and God, it was amazing. Well, Jesus loves you, uh, Reverend Bob, I just want to say that, and if you never, uh, man, I'm telling you, get his material, go and see him, um, Go Grizzlies, go and see him. I like when he gave the testimony. When I think he went, was it Boyd Rice? He went there, and I guess he had a gun. He was in Detroit, and a whole bunch of Satanists showed up there. And he went there for dinner, and they were joking around. And I think it was the son of the dude who used to do Hustler magazine. Amazing. And uh, he got the gun. He was playing around. He shot at him. All sincerity. Um... I, he had gave this testimony. He said, well, I guess Boyd White was stunned. He said, well, can I tell you something? He said, yeah. He said, well, I keep that gun loaded. Man. He said, I, that gun is alive and well. I keep it loaded. And something told me to take the bullets out of that gun. Yeah. 
And he's think about. It. He said, he he said, well, you just well then you know there's a God. There's no way that was God protecting the man of God. I'm telling you, Jesus, I remember that test. That's amazing. Yeah. Whoo, hallelujah. I saw that. Remember, he was in draw. All the Satan showed up <laughs> there in Detroit. Amen. God bless you, Reverend Bob. I'm with you for you and on your side. And most importantly, Jesus Christ is with you and on your side. But I've always, amen. God bless you. I still hear those. I, 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 put, I love to put those on. I still put when he had black metal, death metal on. And they would come on, and he was sitting there in the studio. It was absolutely amazing. And he would be ministering to them. Remember that, man? God bless you, man, that you did that. I was, I'm still, I listen into today. Yeah, I listen to today. Amen. And I'd say a few, there was a few others. He actually did two interviews on that. And then, but I remember, man, he would minister. Man, God bless you. What a soldier for God. And I'm telling you now, people give and. Um, get his materials, get his books. If you've got the devil in you, um, go and see it, cast the devil out. Jesus loves you. But I was preaching this. when no Y'all remember when you were preaching that when nobody was doing that. And I used to do that. I've been preaching this, deliverance, since I was young. And I coached, saw the coat used to show up at me and spit on me and curse me out and told me to stop preaching and try to kill me and put witchcraft on me. And I would say, Jesus is Lord. They would say, Hail Satan. A whole bunch of group of young Satanists, man. And they said, shut up. Which he would spit on me. And I would, the boldness of God would rise up in me. I said, Jesus is Lord. And well, thank God they didn't kill me. But I'm telling you, those were the days. I'm still preaching, though. Amen. So God bless you, Reverend Bob. I love you. And I'm always going to, man, God, I pray for you. And I love you, man. And God bless you, my buddy there. Get him, Reverend. <laughs> Amen. Jesus loves you. I like the one when he did with, what's her name? Was that her daughter? And what was her name? And Shrek was a man. That was amazing. When they Remember that? Man. Ooh, then they did it twice. My Lord Jesus. And Necromancer. And <laughs> hey, God bless you, man, because I came out of that scene, so I was greatly. But I don't know that, but I preach. I preach deliverance. I've been pre you know. Come out of the dark side and come to Jesus. So I just laid it. God laid it on my heart. I just want to say thank you, bro. And go forward, man. May the Lord give you another hundred more years. And man, you're doing a wonderful work for Jesus. In the world and the church is a better place because you were born and you came to Jesus. God bless you, man. Yeah, my Lord. And I remember that one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know how many phone calls. That was amazing, man. Yeah. I would feel the anointing. I still feel the anointing when I watch this. The anointing of the living Jesus. Was it what would Jesus do? <laughs> so, amen. So, uh, be encouraged, man of God. Keep going forward. Man, you're in the will of God. God bless your wife and your wonderful kids and your partners. And um, Man, I fear that I, I feel sorry for the man that opposes the man of God. Amen. But Jesus loves you today, and so is seed. Amen. Um, give to the Reverend Bob Larson. Give to him. And like I said, get his books and materials. And you'll be unfantably, you will not be disappointed. And I still do. I still blow. <laughs> I, I watched the one about Will Smith. <laughs> Remember he went to India to meet a guru? <laughs> Come on, Will. What you doing, brother? You need Jesus Christ, Will Smith. Forget that yoga, yogi, or whatever his name is, and get with the king of kings, Will Smith. Come on, man. Jesus Christ is Lord, brother. Amen. But Jesus loves you today, and so do I. And thank God the reverend is still running. I just want to bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, I've been true. Well, it's been a major part of my ministry, so I want to say this. Uh, I've been watching Bob Larson for 26 years because I got saved when I was 16 or 19. Got into the ministry, and from that, I was just hooked, man. Like, I would watch. I was amazed. I still remember him casting out devils. And who does that? And thank God for Jan and Paul that they put you on TBN, and they allowed the, I mean, devils getting cast out of people. People manifesting and screaming and yelling and cursing. and <laughs> People got to hold them down. Good old Bob casting the devil out of on live TV, on TBN, yeah. Then you had the um, the live show. I used to love to watch off that Bob, man. <coughs> Remember those people who spoke those old languages, 5,000 languages? And they would manifest 
And they would speak languages that didn't even exist anymore, man. And they would find out, they would send it to a college. It took a while. I remember that book. And they would find out that it was a 5,000, 10,000, 50,000 year old language that didn't exist anymore. But them devils were in them people, man. And they were speaking that language. Yeah. And you say there's no devil, you say there's no God, man, I would follow my, who I fear the fear of the Lord. I remember that. Yeah. They, they didn't even exist anymore, man. And these people were talking that language. Man, the blood of Jesus Christ over me. And if you're on the dark side, I hope you come to Jesus. Whoo, hallelujah. Well, God bless you, Reverend. Um, that's a long time, man. So I've been a father. I love somebody. And, and God bless your wife. Yeah, so amen. I'm still, I get, I get excited. I was hearing them last time. Remember that, those other brothers? And they were the hardcore death. Remember that one? He said he's going to meet you in Denver. <laughs> I don't know if he's still baiting, betting, whatever. Deal side, jail side. <laughs> He said, I'm coming for you, Bob. They even actually, they actually wrote a song. Said, so we're going to get Bob Lark. But remember that? They wrote a song, man. Man, Jesus. Well, God love you, brother. And I just want you to know that. So um, if you can, get his books, watch his video, go and see him, and you will get delivered. Jesus loves you. Amen. And um, I know, I like, I watched that. Remember Halloween is for witches? Halloween is for riches, Bob Larson. You're right, but. Even on Halloween, I'm a, whoo, I'm out there wearing my black, tell them about Jesus, I'm black and orange, brother. I came out of that stuff, man, so God bless you. 